Hello, hello, hello. I'm back from the netherworld. Mm -hmm. I do apologize. I had some technical difficulties. Not sure if it was my problem or some other problem. Not sure what was going on. Having a lot of connection issues, but now all of a sudden everything seems to be quite normal again. I don't know why. Uh, hello, Enrique. Hello. How yes. are you? Fine, and you? Uh, other than frustrated with uh, technical problems, I'm okay. How are you? Good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was uh, late to you starting I, this class. You're a very obviously a very patient man, <laughs> <laughs> uh, because I was losing patience. I, yeah, I'm I'm sorry about that. I had difficulty at the end of last class, and all kinds of strange things were happening in the ensuing 25 minutes or so. Uh, okay. Anyway, uh, hello, welcome to Verbling, and uh, we're gonna have a conversation. Uh, we're going to talk about festivals and holidays. Uh, where are you? Where are you from, Enrique? Brazil. Brazil. Well, oh, well, there you go. You know all about festivals and holidays. Yeah, the culture of carnival. Carnival. Yeah. Where are you? June ninth. June fest. June fest. What's June fest? June fest is a fest that the people have to wear like farmer. And we ah. have food, typical food. Ah, okay. Well, here we go. Now we're getting somewhere. All right. So, June Fest. Uh, it, people wear traditional, like farmers yes. type yes. clothes. We'll, we'll explain that to me a little bit. Uh, yes, it's the it's the fest that we have dance, and it's it's. Always happening in June, June and July. Okay. And it is, it's because the the church, the Catholic Church. Mhm. Mm okay. So when you say people dress up like farmers, what? I have no idea what that means. Can you explain what what kind of clothes? Yeah. It's Hat. The, uh, like what? Like blue jeans? Like uh? Overalls, the kind that have suspenders. Yes, the the hat, the pants, the boot. Boots, yeah, okay. Jeans. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, hi, hi, Michael. How are you? Yeah, hi. Okay. Hi. I'm back after my struggles. What happened with you? Let's no idea. See. I suspect it was my um. My internet provider service. Maybe they were doing some kind of maintenance. I, I have no idea because uh, I messed around with it, messed around with it, and I talked to my neighbors. They uh, there's an internet cafe across the street. They were down too, so it wasn't just me. It was something to do with the. You need the uh, three internet connections from yeah. different providers. And I, I actually do have two, but. The other one wasn't really working either. Anyway, that's why I say three. You need three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah, maybe you're right. I need to have a internet provider festival here where I live. <laughs> yeah, okay. We're talking about uh, we're, uh festivals, Michael. Uh, okay. Are there any festivals? Summer festivals? It's summer now. Well, at least. What do you mean by a festival? Festivals. Um, well, they can come in a wide variety. There's seasonal festivals to celebrate spring or fall, or things that happen in seasons, planting in the spring, or uh, harvest. Of course, harvest festivals in the fall very common. There are many other types of festivals, um, music festivals, which I used to love to go to when I was in the United States. 
Um, film festivals. Uh, I know for sure that we have uh, wine festivals. Hmm, okay. In October. In October. Yeah, in October. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Uh, the same time that maybe Germany and other countries are having Oktoberfest. In my, co in my country, we have Oktoberfest. You do? <laughs> Brazil, yeah. you have everything. Oh my what God. is Oktoberfest? <laughs> it's a fest that we have to dress it like a German. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> ah, interesting. Okay. So in Brazil, you have festivals that are related to other countries, like October. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you guys know how to party in, in Brazil. Okay, what is Oktoberfest? Well, it's a traditionally, uh, Michael, it's a German holiday where, ooh, very commonly they will have beer tents, and they sell lots of beer. You eat lots of... Uh, German sausages, sauerbraten, and uh, bratwurst, knockwurst, traditional German sausages, and sauerkraut, and uh, you drink lots of beer, and they sing uh, songs. Yeah, we have uh, the same beer festival. We have beer ah. festival, but I'm not sure when uh, uh, this festival. Uh, but I think uh, we have twice in a year, maybe. No, not only one, one <laughs> time, but maybe twice, three times. I don't know. Really? Because do you know why? Because we have many no. companies um, that um, I don't know that uh, produce beer and sell here beer. So they uh, kind of organize their own uh, festival of beer. They put ah. uh, their own stands with their company, and you go there and drink beer and eat uh, meat. Okay. Okay. So they. Probably they sponsor the festival and they use it as a marketing tool. They yeah. uh, advertise it. I think it's uh, their own festival. I mean, uh, okay. their own company festival. Because you only see their own uh, brand's name. Ah, oh, okay. All right, so these are festivals that are basically... <laughs> Corporate festival. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but for all people. But we have wine festival. So there, it's once a year, and uh, there come all companies from our country. So they uh, put their stands, and uh, um, I don't know. They said uh, that uh, many tourists come in our country in that period. I mean, uh, from uh, countries, uh, Europe countries. Okay. I, explain a little bit more about it. Well, first of all, when does this happen? In October, I think in the middle, 15 October, something like that. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, it used to be this festival in city center. I mean, uh, all city center was uh, closed for traffic. Aha, uh -huh. okay. So yeah, in the streets... Closed for traffic? or how That's how correct. Say? Closed all city streets or city city center area yes, was center closed area. for closed for traffic that is correct very good so you cannot um, with your car to what to do you cannot <laughs> drive or what yeah you, that's it's enough just to say the streets are closed yeah in english we know what that means no cars oh, yeah. so and this uh, stay uh, stands with uh, do you know what is stand Stand, yeah, uh, yeah, small booth. Yeah, yeah, something like that, different. Mm -hmm. And yeah. with uh, uh, women, uh, beautiful women with uh, in national costumes, they usually, ah. and um, uh, wine, and they have wine, all kind of wine, and they kind of uh, promote their wine. So, and the all city center is... Uh, Filled up, or how we can say, filled up with uh, this uh, booth. Mm -hmm. this kind of booth. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, okay, so do people traditionally just, do they have to pay to taste wines? Do they give it away? <laughs> I they, think uh, um, you can buy their wine, you can buy, yeah, uh, these bottles of wine, but you can taste for free, for yeah. sure. Uh, and uh, you can taste from bottles, and you can taste from uh, barrel, yeah, barrel. 
barrels. Yeah. Where wine is stored big, uh, made of wood barrels? Barrels. Uh, yeah. So from Maybe. that kind of barrel, you go there and you open and you on your glass and you drink wine. So, uh, uh, for example, if you would come there, you would uh, be drunk at the <laughs> end of the day. <laughs> okay. Oh, that sounds great. All right. Wine, free wine tasting. Sounds crazy. Yeah, and the high quality. It's high quality. It's not something... Uh, well, that sounds great. And Okay, you, you mentioned traditional costumes. What is that? What are traditional costumes? In your country. Traditional customs? Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know. Kind of uh, ca customs, uh, traditional that uh, they yeah. used to wear uh, many years ago. I mean, it was um, a kind of ca uh, was everyday costume. So now they kind of costumes that uh, wears uh, when they dancing. Oh yeah, and that festival they dance. They have a big. Oh. Um, Place where uh, you can go and dance after you drink wine. You <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Yeah, is it traditional music? Yeah, of course, traditional ah, music and cool. live music. Not, uh, um, uh, but live music. Uh, there come many uh, um, interprets or who who sings or singers, okay. singers, singers. They come and they sing for you for <laughs> festivals uh, part ah. who participate in festival. Very good. What kind? And we of have a lot of tourists in that uh, moment. Yeah. I mean, uh, many tourists and many people from Germany, from other countries, they come and yeah, drink. Sounds great. Uh, sounds like uh, sounds great. I love wine and wine tasting, and I love parties. I would love it. <laughs> sounds, I like to dance even. And I I That's think perfect. it's uh, provided uh, maybe uh, three days, uh, not only one, but three. Three days. Oh, very good. Better and better. Uh, <laughs> okay, that's great. Yeah, that, that sounds terrific. Uh, Juan, how about uh, where you live? Do you have any? Uh oh. Summer festivals. Yeah. Anything like that? Okay. Uh, sorry. Um... Could you repeat? Is because when when you started uh, asking, the connection went uh, uh, cutting. Okay, uh, we're talking about festivals, uh, in particular traditional festivals, but really any kind of festivals. There's many different types. Uh, so, how about in your country? What kind of uh, festivals do you have? What's the big one? Hmm. Let me see. We we, we don't have uh, many. Um, uh, are you referring or, or asking about uh, of um, celebrating a specific day mm -hmm. of uh, history of my country, or just an activity of big magnitude? Well, well, I'm talking about either, either or. Um, festivals are generally something uh, which you celebrate some uh, something kind of essential to your culture. For example, um, Michael was talking about uh, because wine is so important in his country, they have a, a wine festival, wine tasting and traditional dancing and etc. Uh, it may have a focus on uh, music or food or maybe a seasonal time of the year like harvest um, okay or they just may be yeah. elements of that festival yeah um, I'm recalling some um, there is one that is celebrated in uh, in December and also in March that is called uh, the acronym FIA, that is uh, in English would be International Festival of Arts. Oh, okay. So uh, we have um, uh, different places where they they assign as the host 
or where uh, the festival is uh, attended. Mm -hmm. And uh, one is La Sabana, and the other is uh, Senac. And okay. uh, many uh, little uh, theaters. Theaters. Oh. Theaters. Ah, okay. Theaters. And uh, basically, what they do is uh, about a week. There are performance of uh, national and international artists. So maybe uh, we'll get a visit of um, uh, a, specific, a group from Latin America or from uh, mainly from Spain. We we, we okay. get a lot, and uh, most of the activities, if not all, are free and open to to the public. Nice. Also, they are. Uh, family friendly, so uh, if you have family, little kids, uh, you can go with them with no problem of, uh, of the content of the of the performance, and the government uh, facilitates uh, many many uh, a lot of more security uh, for for the event. So it's uh, uh, personally for me is a uh, is a uh, is one of the the coolest or our best uh, festivals that we have. We have others, but it's uh, there are more like uh, parties and, uh, for example, there's something very traditional here uh -huh. that um, is called La Fiesta de Zapote. <laughs> Zapote is um, like. A, a city? Well, no, that won't be like a city. It's like a small, I don't know the equivalent in English, uh, in American uh, society or other societies. It's like uh, a district. Uh, actually, I nearby, I, I live nearby, and uh, what they do is uh, around the park, and well, it's called Plaza. We, we call them Plaza. Uh huh. They rent it. Uh, for Christmas, for December, from the 25th to uh, Jan January one, mm -hmm. and uh, they they set up this. Well, that was at the beginning. They 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 set up like these um, attractions, like a roller coaster, all those uh, traditional uh, entertainment. Now they mm -hmm. still do it, but uh, mainly it, it has. Uh, Focused more into um, super or mega bars, I think they call it. <laughs> so okay. you can imagine. And uh, basically, it's just celebrating between quotes uh, Christmas. Okay. By drinking a lot. Okay. So it's better than one of the FIA. Okay. Uh, well, I like be uh, best uh, the FIA. And. Let me. I, I was uh, thinking of another one that, that was very nice, but no. Nah, okay. To so, this, myself. so you can say the focus is on. Okay. Now the first, the but, first one you spoke of, the focus is on arts, in particular theater, but all is, is it also dance? Um, yeah. Uh, ballet, opera, anything. Oh yeah. All arts. Yeah. For ah. for example, I remember one that uh, that I went. Uh, I. Several years ago, when they started with those festivals, uh, a friend of mine, uh, she invited me to uh, con contemporary jazz dance. Okay. And uh, I, I, it was uh, pretty nice for me because I, I, it, what, what I knew about jazz was only jazz music and, and a specific kind of music. And uh, I, I never heard about it. And I, I don't know if he, if any of you guys have seen a, uh, a presentation of this. And for me, uh, maybe because I'm the worst dancer in the world, in <laughs> kind of dance, um, for me, it is like the the, the best, uh, the, the, the people, the dancers that perform, they, they, they have a gift because it, it is very synchronized and... Uh, um, very like uh, very fast. It, it is pretty nice, and yeah. that's one that I, that I remember. And we have uh, 
um, that is very cool. Uh, but, but also you have uh, other types of, uh, of uh, dance uh, presentations. Uh, mm -hmm. The concerts are, are pretty nice. Uh, you get uh, um, many, many major, uh, I don't know the word in English, uh, for Trova, like the one that Juan Manuel Serrat uh, sings. None of you guys have heard of it. Not sure okay. what you're saying. Yeah, no. uh, I'll look it up and you know, put it in the chat. Okay. And um, so, so it is uh, concerts, uh, music, uh, arts performance in dance, also galleries for local artists. Ah, oh, right. Uh, okay. Yeah. Showing. So they show the mm -hmm. yeah they show their, and also um, this one I, I don't know what's the correct name of the genre. Uh, where they perform at the street, that they dr dress up and make a, like a play in a park. Okay. Uh, I what is the genre? Maybe street performance, street performers. Okay, that's the name. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That. Different kinds of street performers, everything, uh, magic magicians. Mm hmm sometimes jugglers, comedians, all, all those kinds of things. Uh, actually, uh, a question for Enrique. Enrique, okay. uh, I know they love festivals and partying in Brazil. Actually, do you have street performers? That street? Perform yeah, it's, are you ever, where are yeah. you from? First of all, where are you from in Brazil? Sao Paulo, Rio? I'm from uh, Catalão, Goiás, uh, near Goiânia. Is that north? No, centro. No, cent okay, centro. Do you know Goiânia, Brasilia? Brasilia, yeah. Brasilia, okay. it's near. Ah, okay. Okay, and, 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 anyway, uh, carnivals and festivals, often we see street performers, but in some cities you see street performers every day. I was wondering about where you live, or in Brazil in general. Do you have street performers? Yes, we normal? have street. I have street performers and mainly fests, but the mainly is the carnival. carnival. Mainly the carnival. carnival. Okay. Would you recommend that I go? I should go to carnival. Or yes, <laughs> you you should go to Salvador. Salvador, oh, really? Salvador, the, the best carnival. Oh, really? Why? Why mm. is it better than, of course, Rio de Janeiro is the probably the most famous, or at least for uh, me. It why, is, why is Salvador? Why is Salvador better? Salvador, you will participate of the fest. In Rio de Janeiro, you have to watch the, the fest. You will uh, sit in a, in a chair and see the the band okay. passing through the, the avenue. All right. Passing through the avenue. All right. And Salvador, what are you saying? Do you participate? Yes, we are dancing and stay near women. <laughs> <laughs> Almost <Yeah>. naked. <laughs> okay. All right. Are you... Are you talking about like in a street, um, on the street? So is it a parade? Is there a big parade involved? Yes. Mm, okay. Are there, are there floats? Yes, in, and in Salvador, I think that is 10 days of fast. Ah, okay. Yeah, actually I was wondering about that. I used to live in New Orleans. New Orleans also has Mardi Gras Festival, and they start having parades a month before Mardi Gras. Actually, you know, Fat Tuesday, Ash Wednesday, they start having parades a month before, and there's going to be, I don't know, 50 different parades by the time it comes to Mardi Gras Day. That place is crazy. Uh... When they have a parade in Brazil, do they throw things to people? Free stuff? Like, no. Uh, no? Okay. 
I don't know. Maybe no. <laughs> throw, but I I never see it. Ah, okay. Maybe I saw it. In in New Orleans, when they have Mardi Gras, a big big festival in in New Orleans, they throw just cheap but plastic beads like necklace. Uh, many, many beads. I mean, they throw thousands and thousands and thousands. And sometimes they throw out other... They just... You're watching the parade. They throw you things like a hat or a Frisbee or a C, oh, <laughs> whatever. Hat, hat I, I had C, people throw. <laughs> yeah. It's it's fun. It's great. You, you, you come back with lots of free junk. The last carnival I... I catch a hat. <laughs> I remember. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, that's cool. Interesting. All right, so you would uh, you would definitely uh, recommend going to Carnival in Salvador. Okay, interesting. All right. In Brazil and uh, in every region, we have different carnivals. The the clothes are different. The music are different. Okay, different regions have different carnivals. Uh, every yes. everyone is unique. Everyone is different. Yes. Okay. That's awesome. Sounds great. Sounds like you could have a lot of fun going place to place. Actually. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh. Uh, Michael, a question for you. Yeah. I never asked you before. Do you, festivals, carnivals or not, do you ever have street performers where you live? Is that common or really unusual or non existent? Right? Why do you mean the street performers? Circus on the street? <laughs> well, kind of. <laughs> sort of. Sometimes uh, jugglers, sometimes um, dancers, sometimes magician. Uh, not so much. <laughs> not so much. We uh, we only um, I I saw only uh, in my area where I live. They uh, uh, was opened a new store for children. Okay. New, where you can go with uh, parents. Ch as in uh, child that can go with parents, and uh, to buy something, and there where you can uh, that child can um, have a good time. I mean, like in McDonald's, you know, some kind of uh, uh, what is that? Does it have a play area? Yeah, play area, but uh, inside, uh, not outside, but inside, yeah. all in that store. Oh yeah, I, I, inside a store, we would say a play area. If it was outside, I would say playground. Yeah, so they opened uh, this store, and um, uh, to attract more people, uh, so they put uh, this kind of uh, street performers uh, ah. on the streets to to attract people. And uh, I saw uh, about one three uh, three meters long uh, person. What? <laughs> I mean, uh, uh, they uh, some kind of I don't know some kind of um, um, giant. Uh, one, yeah, giant, but on the wood, uh, wood uh, foot feet. Oh, okay, on this skills. Kind. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So yeah, they were right. dressed very funny, and uh, they uh, walk uh, around uh, all that store. Right. When the people uh, ha they walk on. Okay, here's a person walking, and they have the big wooden things, so it looks like they're very tall. Yeah. Those are, yeah. Right. Those are called stilts. Okay. So uh, this oh, is last right. time when I uh, saw street. Performers, let's say, uh, ah. yeah. But uh, in the festivals like wine festivals, we do not have uh, right. this. Uh, okay. Usually, only beautiful girls we have, and they uh, are dressed in national costumes and um, some and sing, some and dance, uh, something like that. But street performers, I do not okay. see uh, in any festivals. Uh, okay. How? All right. How about let's. You go back to the wine festival or any festivals. 
Okay. One of the elements in a many American festivals and Philippines, here in the Philippines, same thing, one element of the festival are playing games, and you can win things. Poker, yeah. <laughs> poker? No, no, not like poker. <laughs> they're, usually, they're usually simple games, like uh, throw a coin and try to land the coin on a plate without mm -hmm. it bouncing off, things like that. Or try to throw a ping pong ball into a hole. Or knock down some bottles with a baseball. Th games like that. Or darts. Pop a balloon with a dart. So, games for Joe. Uh, for, for what? You know, uh, average person in America is named oh, Joe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> games Joe. for the average Joe. Yes, okay. <laughs> sure. You, you would say for the average Joe, yeah. It doesn't take <laughs> Do you know skill. Do you yeah. know how it's named uh, uh, average American woman? It, no. <laughs> I, I forgot, but uh, this is the name. Jane, I think, something like Jane, that. Jane, yeah, okay, yes. Um, strangely, like when uh, somebody dies in the United States and they're unidentified, do you know what they're called? Joe? No. Uh, jo Strangely, no. John Doe. Yes, thank you, Juan. Very good. John Doe. They put a toe tag on, and it's John Doe. We don't know who it is. And if it's a woman, Jane Doe. Mm -hmm. But not Joe. I don't know why. So we have, um, I think, uh, these kind of games for average Joe, but uh, I do not remember because I uh, do not... I haven't played uh, this game, but I think we have for sure some kind okay. of uh, these uh, interesting games. Yeah, with in, prizes. Right in the United if States, you, you can win a stuffed animal, for example, teddy bear, <laughs> or you can win goldfish. It's the classic. I, I don't know. Here in the Philippines, it's fun because you win a, a chicken. <laughs> A chicken? <laughs> yes. A uh, small baby chicken, which they dye, they use a dye, and they make them, like, purple or red or yellow or green. Ah, uh, yeah. So here, did you won? Here they chicken? did won. Uh, they, they do that, won? Yeah. Oh, gosh. Did you won a uh, chicken? Did you win a chicken? Me? I... Have you ever won a chicken? Let's say in Have I ever won a chicken? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this, uh, no, I, I didn't even... I don't want a chicken. <laughs> it's funny, the children bring them home, the children think they're cute, but then they just die the next day or two days later. But if you would yeah. win, win, you would uh, direct on the stove. Put <laughs> in the stove. <laughs> <laughs> Who wouldn't yeah. play with this chicken? Yeah, I uh, forget it. Actually, I wouldn't <laughs> trust them. They're like diseased or something. I, I wouldn't eat that. <laughs> yeah. You're picky. Uh, You're yeah, picky. Also I that, that's animal uh, cruelty. Yeah, it's, it's animal, yeah. animal, animal cruelty. I, I agree. They, these crazy, these little chickens can't. They don't stand a chance. No. Whatever they do to them, they just they never survive. I've never heard of anyone having winning one of these <laughs> uh, chickens uh, that live. Uh, but but you know now that you mentioned that, yeah, uh, uh, when I was in school, uh, uh -huh. a friend, well the the brother of this friend, uh, in a festival that we had in the school, they they did they exactly did that uh -huh. surprise, and uh, he he took it back home. Yeah, but uh, his family they they loved animals, so they took care of of, of the chicken. Uh -huh. I don't know how they managed uh, for the chicken to survive, because I I, I once tried that too, but uh -huh. mine died, uh, and then and the chicken went to to grew up to be a rooster. Really? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> That's funny. That's amazing. Yeah, so they they, they, they had survived. they had it okay. they had him in the in the backyard. How funny! Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. Uh, 
my time is up. Uh, I have to go now. Thanks, guys. Uh, sorry about the technical difficulties this class and the end of last class, but everything seems, seems to be working now. So thank you very much. Everybody have a good day. Enrique, nice to see you again. Nice to see you. Okay. Mm -hmm.